Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome to my pet room. I do rent this house this is a two bedroom house and this is actually the bigger bedroom of the two I claim this one for my animals and there's a lot of things I would do to this if I wasn't renting it I personally wouldn't have carpet in here and I'd put a lot more things on the wall but because it's rented I can't do a lot of things so we're just working with what I've got so starting over on the left is my desk this desk is from Ikea I'll leave a link in the description if you want to pick up a similar one and I would love to say this is where I do my work, but the Wi-Fi in here is not the best, so I tend to do it downstairs instead. So primarily I use this desk for photo shoots. If you follow me on Instagram and you've seen all of my pictures, this is where the magic happens. I take all of my pictures of my rats and my mice here on my desk. So hanging on the side of my desk is this thing from Wish. This mostly does have random things in it, but it also has treats that I use for my photo shoots and also some bin bags that I use for my bin, which is down there next to my desk. So probably my most favorite thing about this desk is the fact that the background is magnetic. This makes it really easy to hang my pictures and also I use this to hang up my photography background. So on here I just have some of my pictures of my pets and my boyfriend and my mum. Some of these pictures of my pets are my previous pets or my current ones. And we also have a 10,000 subscriber plaque that Victoria Rachel made me. That seems so long ago now. Um, I've lost the like YouTube part of it, but that is also on there as well. So moving on to the top part of my desk, this just has some random things on it. We've got a little mouse statue, the vitamins and minerals for my rat's water, these lovely sumsums that one of my subscribers sent me. Abby, thank you again for sending these to me. And then we also have some of the paintings that my rats have made. We've got the big one at the back, which all four of them did. So Sunday, Moose, Badger and Sprout all did that painting. And then in front of that, we have Sprout's painting, Moose's painting and also Sunday's painting. And next to this is a painting that I just got recently sent. This was sent to me by a lovely girl called Freya and I am so obsessed with this. She's so incredibly talented. This did just arrive very recently, just in time for me to film this video. So thank you so much Freya for painting this for me. I am in love with it. If you're interested in her art style and also getting a commission, I will leave her details down in the description because she is so incredibly talented. So if you didn't know, Sunday did unfortunately pass away last week. And having this painting done for me was a total surprise, but also it's like having a piece of him back in the room again. So thank you so, so much Freya for painting this. I am absolutely in love with it. So moving down on this shelf is a tiny, tiny photo frame. I bought this when my mouse Fig passed away last year to put his paw prints in and I just have not got around to doing it, which is really bad. I do need to do that. But next to that is his paw prints in clay and also some that I did off Sunday recently. So I need to go around to painting them and get them into their frames very, very soon. And then on the shelves below that is just my Sumsum collection. I have stopped buying these now, but I do really like them. Um, so they're just there as well as a snow globe with a picture of Badger in. And then below that is just a pencil pot and some random things and some sunflower seeds that I took from my sunflowers in the garden. So right in the corner are some storage drawers for my store. I just needed some extra storage, so I purchased these. On top is my camera charger and some random pumpkins that are left over from Halloween. But in all of these drawers are like post office receipts, all of my Polaroids for my store, things like that is all stored in there. So moving on to the rack in the middle of the room. This is not the most aesthetically pleasing rack I've seen. I've tried my best. I've put these artificial vines around the outside. But really I am just using this for some extra storage. Maybe one day it will be filled with more enclosures and things like that. But for now, this is just what I'm working with and I do think it looks okay. So right at the top, you might have noticed this empty exoterra. This has nothing in it and it probably won't do for quite a while now. 
So I bought this when I first got Orbit and then I realized that I didn't need all of the extra height at the top. So I've kept it. I do use it sometimes for introductions with the mice and as a spare enclosure, but right now it is very, very empty and I can't actually resell it or anything because the mice have chewed all of the plastic black bit in the middle and I don't really want to sell it anyway. So I do actually intend to use this for a pair of white tree frogs. I have wanted white tree frogs for such a long time, but I'm not currently ready or in the position to own any. So I'm just holding on to this exoterra in the meantime. Today I'm ready to get some frogs and make this into their enclosure. So next to that, we just have a very sad looking snake plant, my spray bottle, which has a 50-50 water vinegar solution and just some extra bits behind that. Moving down, we have Orbit's exoterra, which is a medium low. So this is my female leopard gecko Orbit. I adopted her at the beginning of this year and she was about a year old then, so in a few months time she is gonna be two years old. So we have done a whole tour of her enclosure. It's not really changed too much since I made that video, so I'll leave that linked in the iCards and also in the description, but I don't really love this enclosure that much anymore. It's a bit too dark, so I am possibly considering redoing it in the future, but for now this is what it looks like and she seems perfectly happy in there. So next to her enclosure is just where I keep my live mealworms and then also in front of that is where the mouse food is. So moving down the shelf we have the rat carry cage, in the middle is the scales I use to weigh off my animals and then next to that is my dubia roach colony. So I have actually started to breed my dubia roaches, I did buy some adults and they are doing a really good job of breeding so I do want to buy them a bigger bin just to give them a bit more space because the colony is growing but that is where my dubia roaches live. And then moving down, we just have the bin cage that I use as the travel cage for my mice. Next to that is my printer and my guillotine, nothing too exciting. And then on the bottom is some storage basket things. So the one on the left is just full of spare reptile supplies. This one is full of toilet rolls. And then this one is full of old aquarium supplies, which I don't really have any intention of using anytime soon. I'm holding onto them just in case. So next to the rack is just a cardboard box the rats use during their free roam. This stays here pretty much all the time. And then in front of that is just a material tunnel for them as well. Behind that, I don't know if you can see, but this is the playpen for my mice. And then whenever I want to use that, I just pull it out from behind the detolf. And then of course, moving on to this side of the room, this is where the mouse enclosure is. This is an Ikea detolf. It does look a bit different because I have had to clean it out but I do have a full video giving you a tour of this enclosure. I'll leave it linked in the iCards and in the description if you want to check that out. So in here is my eight female mice. I've got Opal, Pearl, Pebble, Bramble, Sprig, Olive, Clove, and Vixen. I have made a bunch of videos where you can see which mouse is which, and I'll leave those linked in the iCards and in the description if you want to watch some more videos on the mice and find out who is who. So this is just an Ikea Detolf. This is on top of an Ikea Calyx unit. And in all of these storage boxes, most of this is stuff for my store. So treats, toys, everything on my online store is mostly stored in here as well as packaging and paper for my printer, boring things like that. There is some things in there that are mine as well because we don't have much storage in this house and most of the good storage is in this room. So some of my stuff is in there as well, but mostly is things for my online store. So above my mouse enclosure is this pin board. I added this very recently because I wanted somewhere to display all of the artwork you've either done for me or sent to me over the years and this is what I've done so far. So this is all of the artwork I could find in like my screenshots and I did get it all printed out. So if there is anything you've ever drawn for me or sent to me, please resend it so I can get it printed out and put it on the pin board. So I was really considering opening like a PO box in case you guys wanted to send me any letters or paintings or anything like that. Obviously you didn't have to, but I did want to look into possibly doing that as an option for people that did want to send me something. And I didn't realize how expensive it was to have a PO box on a monthly or yearly basis. It is crazy money. So I'm gonna have to look into it a bit more. Maybe I could open one for like a month or two months just to give everyone a chance to send something if they did want to, but it is a crazy amount of money to have a PO box, which is something I'm not quite ready to have on like a permanent basis yet. So maybe in the future I will open a PO box and I'll announce that somewhere. But for now, this is everything that I found and printed out myself. So next to the mouse enclosure, we have this little table and this just has my leaf insects on. This has my two female and three male Brilliant Finipinicum leaf insects. So this enclosure is an ELC cage. I'll leave the link to their website in the description, but 
This is a really good cage. The only thing I do possibly want to add is like a base in the bottom because the poo does tend to fall out sometimes, which is really annoying. But this is their enclosure and I really like it here. So next to their enclosure is just the spray bottle I use to mist them down on a daily basis. And then behind that, if you're wondering what all of these boxes are, these contain all of the paintings that my boys have done. And I got a bit keen when I started the website and made all the boxes up and put them in a big pile. The pile was honestly almost up to the ceiling. I probably shouldn't have done it, but we are down to just a few paintings left. So hopefully they're not gonna be there too much longer because it's not the best thing to look at. I just got a bit excited. and I wanted to make all of the boxes. So they are there for now. So underneath that is just a box I made for my rats a long time ago now. This is just something they use during free roam and they love to go in here and not come out. So on my windowsill, I'm not gonna show too much of the window itself, but we have this photo frame which has my rat's paw prints in. This is a really nice thing to do with your rats to remember them by. The top blue one is Scamp, and then the bottom pink one is Rolo, and I do also have Sundays that is supposed to go in this too. Unfortunately, I didn't do it with Badger because he did pass away so unexpectedly. I just wasn't thinking at the time, which is annoying, but I do intend to do it with every single one of my rats and kind of keep it as a tradition. So this is where this lives at the moment. I'm sure I'll probably have to get another one to keep the tradition going and put all of the rest of my boys' paw prints into. So moving on to the last section of the room, it kind of goes into like an L shape and the rat cage and their cat tree fits in here perfectly. So this cage is the Pet Planet Rat and Ferret cage. I've made a cage draw of this and also done a review on it as well. So I'll leave those linked in the iCards and in the description, but I love this cage. It's worked perfectly for me and my rats. So this is the cage I'm using at the moment. So in here, we currently have my two male rats. We've got Moose who is two and a half years old and Sprout who is gonna be two years old in about three weeks time. So next to that is my cat tree or rat tree, which leads down into their ball pit. As they have started getting older, they don't really use the ball pit too much anymore, but I still appreciate it anyway. So if you want to see a video where I made them their ball pit, I'll also leave that linked in the iCards and in the description. I did get a comment the other day saying that I shouldn't have my cat's cat tree so close to my rat cage. And I don't have a cat as much as I would like one. This is honestly just for my rats. So you don't need to worry about that. So underneath my rat cage is where most of my supplies are shoved. Um, these are all in storage boxes, so most of this is stuff for the rats, stuff for the mice, cleaning supplies, medical supplies, treats, everything like that is down under the rat cage. And then next to the rat cage is where I keep all of their food mix. So this is my storage cupboard and I feel like everyone has a cupboard like this. I know it probably looks quite bad, but this is honestly an organised mess. So this house doesn't have much storage, so this is pretty much the only place I can put most of my stuff, and it does have a storage rack at the back. You probably can't see this too well, but this is kind of organized. It's like an organized chaos, um, but it works for me. I can find everything that I need to. So in here is where I keep all of the bedding for the rats and the mice, and also some spare food for their food mix. The big bag at the front is also for their food mix. We've got all of the litter, all of these spare toys and things for the rats and the mice that don't fit under the rat cage. We've got towels, we've got so many spare cages because apparently I need that many for introductions. I honestly don't, but I hold on to them anyway. So everything like that is shoved in this cupboard out of the way and it does work. I can find things if I need to. So you honestly should have seen it before I organized it. It was crazy. <laughs> So yeah, I know most people tend to avoid showing their messy cupboard, but honestly, this is where the bulk of my pet supplies are, and I thought I'd just show you it. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my pet room. I know it's not the biggest, most exciting pet room you've probably ever seen, but I feel like you guys are long overdue seeing what it looks like. I've lived here for almost a year now, and you guys have never seen the full room, so I thought I owed it to you to show you what it looks like, just to give you a bit more of an idea where everyone is and what the room looks like. I'm probably not gonna be living in this house for too much longer, probably a few more years at most. So this is probably all gonna change in a couple of years. I can't do too much with this room as we are renting. There are so many things I'd love to do for a pet room. The major one is not having a carpet. That drives me insane, but there are so many ideas I have to make a pet room a lot better that I can't do because I am renting. So look forward to me possibly getting a bigger, more exciting pet room in the future. But for now, this is what we're working with and it works well, I like it in here. It's like my cozy little safe place away from the rest of the world. 
I did just want to also mention my patrons and give a special mention to my $5 patrons, Chloe and Craig, and also my $10 patrons, Ashley, Carmine, Carrie, Kaylee, Samantha, and Sarah. I love talking to you guys over on Patreon and sharing things with you, so thank you so much for your support. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my pet room. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of my pets, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.